we've made our way out today on a hunt uh, for a climbing gym. That might be building. So I had the camera on for some strange reason. I thought I turned it off, but I didn't. So it turns out it's on the 12th floor, is what the pharmacist said. So we're heading over to the 12th floor. Right here. Grai Ming Jim. Mali seems to be afraid of doing stuff, approaching people. She thinks I'm gonna embarrass her again, so she stays outside, away from me. <laughs> 12th floor, here we go. What? Are you kidding me? Every Saturday you're closed? Mm, you can look at neighbor, Instagram, and blog and stuff. It says on the internet that they're open and closing at 6. Okay, well, we, here. we did find a place. Ooh. So that's good. Well, then I guess we gotta find out. Uh, I'm gonna head over to the next one. I guess we're gonna go be on a, we'll be on a hunt for climbing places today. Sit, children, sit. You gonna sit in big camping chairs? We could have taken something to eat. Yeah, well, yeah, people come here for like a whole day. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Yeah. Okay, well then, you guys want to go eat something? Mm -hmm. We're in Xinjiang, Dong. Because I eat cereal. What would you like to eat? Because I eat cereal. Yes. And I go, go to the bathroom. Yes, and it's milk and it goes through you like water. There is a uh, Gudagi Hejanguk here nearby. Very good. Um, kimpap? What do you guys want? Kimpaps and stuff like that? No. Noodles? Okay, well then let's go out and find some. Come on. Funny name for a restaurant. Poop, poop House Story. Mali well, discovered it. Very proud find. I want to prowl for some for a noodle house. Buddha Jige? Where is Buddha Jige? This area of the city has developed a little bit. There are like these little funky little restaurants around the corners. Like this one here. Looks like a Japanese place of some kind. Type of izakaya or whatever. Ramen place, look at that. That might be interesting. It is early in the day. Here's a little coffee shop, I think, or maybe some other restaurant. Pokemon thingies. Machines, that's very random. It's two I know! I had to make a quick stop for some replenishments. So we got um, mandu, no mandu, <laughs> kimbap, then two ramens, and Brigitte, Marie, and udon. Just a local store here. And then we're gonna head out for to find the second climbing gym. We don't have a lot of, we don't have a lot of time. I think it's closing at five. This one was supposed to close at six, but it closed closed entirely on Saturdays. And the other one says that it's closed, it closes. closes at six, uh, five, I think, or seven. I don't know. But it could just be that it's closed on Saturdays altogether. So I guess we'll see. What are you trying to communicate? This is actually the first place that I ever saw had a selection of Hansom Kamyon, Hansom Kamyon, Hansom Kamyon and Shin Ramen. Usually they just give you ramen and use whatever they use gener generic, generically. Here you got a choice of one of two. Yeah. 
There's some other cards here. Team Pump very yummy. Team Pump very yummy. You're hungry. We've arrived at the second place. Which seems to have been made inside a very old looking building. I don't know if this was a hospital or church. At a hospital, there was a wheelchair over there. Well, I think it's not yes, nine climbing gym. And it's located in uh, Songnamdong. So we're gonna head over to the fourth floor or wherever it is and have a look. Yeah, that's inside the oh, six pack. Yeah. How do you do this? You just climb away. I know the gym. No. Where is that gym? Where do we need to go? Up or down? Up. All right. Let's go have a look. Oh. That looks like the right place. It looks like it's open. Come in, have a look. The place is pretty small. Big enough, I guess. Come here. Liam, come here. Come here. Well, the gym is here, but there's nobody here at the information desk. Go, climb up. Show me what you can do. Climb across, Liam. Climb across. I am. Go, go. Do your thing. Use your toes, Liam. Use your toes. Yeah, like that. Hello.
remember always climb down rather than drop down always climb down rather than jump down if you can <laughs> if you can because it's better it teaches you to climb down rather than fall down <laughs> Mali, how was your climbing experience? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Good. Good. You're doing it wrong. We're all knackered out. We need chalk. We figured Liam's fingers are slipping, and it's almost five o'clock anyway. So we gotta get our own side of here. I think we're the last ones here, other than the owners. Hmm? Yeah. That's hardcore climbing, Mali barefooted. Some people do that. It's really difficult because your feet hurt like crazy. Some people try to climb without shoes. It's hard to do. You gotta do it again, right Liam? Next time with Mali, hopefully. Mali will be able to climb. It's an interesting building here. It doesn't look like much on the outside. There's a ping pong club downstairs. Really close to Songnam Dong. Within walking distance. Strange looking building. Now we gotta head home for a little bit take care of some stuff and then later we're gonna meet up with Richard Ricardo we came down to Bangujin for dinner we cuz I don't know just last minute kind of idea I went to grappa some Italian food good spaghetti uh, good pizza but apparently there is like an hour long wait so I parked the car and I'm gonna head back because Richard uh, and the babies are hoping, hopefully making reservations. So it's 7.30 right now. So I guess we'll be back in an hour. We'll take an hour to walk around for a little walk, work up an appetite. We got an hour wait. We've got an hour wait. Yeah. Fantastic. It's a tiny little hole in the wall kind of place but busy. Normally, across the street there is uh, Dela, and last time we came here that's where we were seated because I guess these guys lend out some seats for them, but apparently not today, so that sucks. Can you wait an hour? Do you want to wait an hour? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah? You? Oh. I'm alright. Yeah. I'm not okay? like super hungry. I'm not. Yeah. Are you guys starving? Yeah. Are you? Yeah, yeah you'll live. <laughs> you? You're I figured let's go for a little walk, oh, man. Yeah, what time? So we've got to be there at 8.30? Back around there? Well, they're going to call, right? They approximated an hour. Oh. we got an hour to kill, so... Yeah. Daddy, daddy. Walking. Walking. Pushing and shoving and running around. <laughs> so, we just got booted out of Grappa because um, they close at 9 and uh, it's already not 8.30, which means that we wouldn't be able to sit down. Because um, it takes some time to cook and all that stuff. So we ended up coming just up the street to a different place. And we ordered a burger set, some spaghetti bolognese and uh, some kimchi egg graf, uh, what is it? Pilaf. Uh, which is just okumbap for Richard. We'll see. We're kind of curious to see what that's going to look like. This place is completely empty. There's a couple sitting outside. Otherwise, there's like literally nobody here. Even though there is a pool table here. Anybody play pool? <laughs> you guys play pool? Do you play pool? I played pool. I haven't played a long time. The place has a pool table. ended up having dinner in La Playa, this place which is just around the corner from uh, Grappa, just over there. 
How was it, guys? I don't know. Yeah, they got a pretty good menu. The burger was all right. Uh, um, Richard had a uh, uh, kimchi bokkumbap with egg, and Molly and Liam had uh, bolognese, spaghetti bolognese, and then we had some. Um, um, ice cream, gelato ice cream. The ice cream was pretty good, sadly only three flavors. There was vanilla, strawberry and green tea, but all three everybody agreed the, the ice cream was pretty good. So overall a pretty good experience. And there's nobody in there and they have a kicker's view. It's literally with a patio uh, facing outward onto the ocean. I, and they've got a pool table and a darts machine. I think it's a perfect place. Well, I don't know what it's called. What is it, a darts machine? <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> it's a perfect place to hang out and, and get smashed with a bunch of friends, man. I don't even know why, why there's nobody in there. Uh, the owner said that it's because of Chuseok, which is, I guess, coming up. People are saving money so they can blow it on family members for weird presents and boxed apples, you know. I saw, dude, I saw a box of apples, maybe, I don't know, there was 10 of them, 50 bucks. <laughs> 55 bucks. <laughs> It was absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> so that's what they got. And now we're heading to the car to go home.